What's going on guys? Christian here from CK Wraps. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the front bumper on a Lexus RC300, including the headlights. Um, since we're going to be removing the bumper, we might as well remove the headlights because it will make our life a lot easier when we go to, re to wrap the bumper later. Uh, also to wrap the fenders, it will give us more accessibility in the front end. Now, a couple of things you're going to need here. What I noticed, uh, it's been a while since I've wrapped the Lexus, but generally speaking, 10 millimeter socket, flathead screwdriver, plastic pry tool, possibly your triangle or a hook tool, and we might need some other kind of size socket along the way. I'm not really sure until we kind of get there. Um, I'm gonna show you where the screws are on the bottom, the ones you have to disconnect, or sorry, the ones you have to unscrew or unthread, and basically just do those without the camera being there, but I wanna show you where they are. Uh, I'm gonna show you the wheel well area. I'm gonna give you great detail as far as the video goes, and uh, I'm gonna make sure you see pretty much every clip and screw that there is when we're going along and doing this right now. Now, I have the wheel cut to the uh, passenger side right now, so I have access to the clips that are in the wheel well area. Uh, there's a couple of clips there, that's what we need the flathead screwdriver for. Um, also, the 10 millimeter socket is more for the screws along the bottom. Across the top here, we just have regular standard clips. Let's bring you in for a little tour of what everything actually looks like. Let's start off with the wheel well area. In the wheel well area, we have so hopefully there's some light there, right here, with that focus. There we go. We have a clip, we're just gonna pop that guy out. We have these guys right here, we're gonna thread them to the left, turn them counterclockwise, and then that will allow us to remove the liner or pull the liner back slightly. On the bottom side, let's check it out. We have a uh, few screws. There's a 10 millimeter right there. There's two right back here, as you can see, uh, I'll just pointing them out one and then two so that's going to be at each side and then along the bottom we're going to remove all of these 10 millimeter screws okay so there there is one right there two three four five oh yeah and six one way over there six on each side okay that's what you have to do to remove the bumper you got to get those guys out once you do you'll be fine Guaranteed up in here, um, there's going to be, like right up in here, there's going to be where it connects to the fender, there will be a screw. I'm not sure if it's 10, mil 10 millimeter or not. On the top side, we have lots of clips. We've got to remove this entire plastic panel uh, and this one here as well. So these, these clips all got to be popped up and they all got to go. Some really... Minor stuff in the paint, stone chip. Uh, down here, there's a nice, there's a really nice nick actually right here. So good stuff to document. It will show through the wrap. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it will show through the wrap. Uh, over here, a couple in the front, all the way across the front end here, there is a few. Okay, it's a front bumper. It's gonna have a bit of wear and tear. You can see one's very obvious right here as well. And some of that will show through. Now let's get in here and remove all these clips. I'm gonna try my triangle tool. Seems to be probably the better option. It's working well. It's a lot of these little things and they don't give you, give you a lot of space around them to be able to pop them out and up. So something, a, th a thin piece of plastic of some kind, sort of like what I'm using. Oh, I guess they just push down. Okay, so they just, they actually just push down. That's how they're supposed to go. Okay. That makes life way easier than what I was just about to do. I <laughs> just, see, you, you, you do things accidentally sometimes um, and you just figure out the way it's supposed to be done. See, now they're all, they're all just gonna pop out once I, once I get them all pushed down. So just push these guys down right here. They just push down until they clip, as you can hear them clipping. Yep, there's one, another one. Which panel comes off first? This guy here. So this one overlaps the middle panel. Oh, just drop the clip. Where'd it go? Didn't see it. I have more of them. I just that's just a bummer to lose one. I'll probably be able to find it once I remove the light. Let's put these guys over here for now on the floor. I'll bring my little toolbox over afterwards. Um, it just basically what happened is it popped up. So I'll just put my hands over top of this so they don't pop out off anymore. Oh, 
that should be okay. Oh, we're hooked in on this side over here. But is it hooked under or over? There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna take this panel, put it down over here with the clips in it. Uh, I have one more clip over here holding this panel on. Let's get that one off. Good. Let's put that right there. Cool. Um, this is going to give us access to the rest of them on the top side here. We do have a clip right here. A clip right here. And two more, one more, or two more on the other side. And then there's also a screw. And that's a 10 millimeter. There's one screw here in the middle and on each end. Great. I'm going to grab my little toolbox. Throw these guys inside. The way I design my toolbox is, uh, or sorry, the way this came is, the way, and the way I think about it in my head is everything in the middle at the top goes in the middle at the top. So all these clips that I just took from the middle and the top go back to the middle and the top. So let's do these screws. Two screws, three screws on the top. These three should all be exactly the same. So as long as you go, you know they go in the middle at the top, you'll be fine. Because they only go in one spot. They can't go in other places. You can take a picture of stuff if you're really uh, wondering how things go back together. I used to do that. Then I realized things just go back together in a, there's only one way. If you're left over with screws, you did it the wrong way. you've lost, if you, don't, if you don't have enough screws or clips, uh, it just means you've lost them. Again, those with all those clips right there. Okay, the top, the whole top portion is free. We're gonna get into the bottom section. What I did here is I just took the extension off. Let's get all these out. Now, I don't actually know if we have to remove them all. It looks like we just have to remove the one, two, three, four, starting from the corner. I don't believe we need to remove the splash guard ones, the, the three that are over there. I didn't lift the car for this. Uh, I will wrap the bumper with the car up, but I just didn't lift the bump the car for this. Because I know that I'm going to be, uh, I need to wrap the fender and the roof and stuff like that. This is just to show you how more or less easily the uh, front bumper can be removed. Let's put those in there. I find the rear bumpers are, are a little bit more challenging to remove than the front, actually. But we don't really need to remove a rear one. All we're doing right now is separating the um, bumper from the splash guard underneath. for each side. Now, the bumper is, I'm pretty sure, loose from the bottom. Yeah, we don't need to remove those splash guard ones that I showed you earlier. Don't worry about those. Those three that go on that actual mud flap, don't worry about those. Let's get into the uh, fender flare area right over here and see what's going on. So let's grab, pop this guy out. That definitely has to come out. And then we have these guys here. These are not always straightforward. Okay, that looks like it came out. 
think it's just a half turn, or is it more than that? Let's try it. You don't want to come out. It's got a little pressure. These clips like this are a pain in the butt sometimes. So I put a little pressure on it. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I'm not kind of in your way. Let's pop this, this guy out of here. Great. Almost. Cool. That should be, it should do the trick. Yeah, okay, that separates that. That separates that. And then we're going to get in here and what I'm gonna see at the top here is a 10 millimeter, okay. Let's grab the 10 millimeter, which I have on the other side. There could be two. There could be. So the 10 millimeter is actually very accessible right here. And this carpet liner is super soft, so it's easy to pry. Uh, but 10 millimeter is right here. There could be another one here somewhere, okay? Keep that in mind. So we're gonna actually have a look. Once we get this one off, I don't think that there is, but there could be. Let's pry it. No, it's just clips. Pretty sure. Looking. No, it's just clips, okay? Yep, so okay, we're loosening the bumper up. <laughs> the whole front end almost came off. I gotta do the other side still. Let's get over there and do that other side. Let's clip that back on there and let's take our clips and our screws and put them in the box. Same deal this side, okay? We're gonna take, I'm just gonna pop this little cap off for the, the push clip. Um, this one is actually, doesn't appear to be doing anything. So this one here, you don't even have to loosen the, the second next one up. Don't worry about that one. But the next one above that one, yes you do. So I'm gonna pry that again and start unthreading this. doesn't really unthread like this. You just kind of have to pull it and get it to come loose like that. And then we can get it pulled out of there. It's a pain in the butt one to actually take off. This is a silly clip. These are a very specific clip to Lexus actually. Okay, that's what that, that's what that guy looks like right there. Pop, make sure that's separated. Cool. Let's pull that liner away and let's get that 10 millimeter bolt as well. Just right at the top there. Great. Take my clips, put them on the other opposite side of the box. Good. My toolbox, my clip box is completely full. We're ready to remove this bumper right about now. Now there's gonna be a wiring harness, guys, and I'm not sure which side it is on. It looks like there's definitely something right here connecting the bumper. So what I can do is actually just pop this side open right now. We wanna do this with nice pressure, okay? And I kinda, I kinda lift up. Okay. And then we're gonna look behind and I can see there's a clip right here. So this is the side. It's usually, it's, I find it's usually on the passenger side for whatever reason, uh, these clips. Not that you can see much right now. I push down all those tabs, get these clips out of here. Okay, they're, not coming e they're not coming easily. One is off, good. I need to get the other one off. When these things have been sitting there for even a few months, they build up dirt and the clips just are hard to push down. Come on, baby. Okay, I don't want to. I'm gonna put myself behind the bumper right here. I'm trying to do this by two hands. Okay, this is disconnected, good. Oh, I didn't have to actually take it off. This is probably a blind spot monitor or something like that. Uh, so all I had to do was actually just pull this plastic clip out of the bumper. Now we're gonna check, I see a fog light one right here. So let's take that one off. So, so far what I've done is I've removed the, 
and removing the fog light one right now. And then I'm gonna have to do that on the other side as well. Come on. It's a bugger. Pushing down these clips does not always work very well. Okay, got that one. Okay, and then I've also, what looks to be, I've removed this uh, side marker light. Let's do the other side. There's gonna be two. Okay, there will be for sure at least two uh, clips on this side, one for the side marker light and one for whatever else was down here, that sensor thing, I don't know what it was. There might not be one, but I'm guessing that there is. I'm gonna clip the other side of the bumper back in just to hold it until I'm ready. Okay. Let's pull this guy off. Good. And let's have a look behind. So again, yes, it is that same sensor thing there. And then we're gonna remove the side marker light. We definitely have a, the fog light area as well. Okay, it's hard on your fingers. Let's pop out that sensor. There's the sensor right there. And then let's get our fog light disconnected. That should be it. Uh, there could be, okay, there is another harness. I see it for the middle. It has a front facing camera. We have to disconnect that one as well. Not want to pull that out without disconnecting it. There we go, there's the fog light. Let's check to see if there's any more. Don't see any. I'm gonna show you where the fog light one is. This is the fog, this is the sensor, sorry, the fog light. Um, this is the front camera, front facing camera sensor. I, I don't know if it's behind the emblem or maybe it's not, maybe it's a thermometer sensor. It's, it's some kind of sensor. Um, it's right all the way back here. And again, we're just gonna push down on the tab, slide that guy right out. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, easy, don't forget that one. Uh, and the bumper should come off, so let's get ready to do that. I'm gonna bring the bumper stand over. Okay, I've got my trusty hook tool. Um, this does help to have two people. We're gonna double check here, make sure there's no more sensors. I see one, but it looks like it's actually um, mounted to the front rebar, so I'm not worried about that one. That's probably for the air temperature. Now, let's un unclip this side. I'm gonna lean against the bumper slightly, just so it doesn't just slide right off. Pop out, pop out that side. We're gonna take this off real slowly and make sure there's nothing else connected. I might have to swing one side out at a time. There shouldn't be anything connected anymore. Okay, there isn't. All of it's off. Excellent. There is your front bumper removal. Bad boy right there. I'm gonna put that on our bumper stand, which I have sitting right here. Kick this over a bit. Put that, you can rest it on a chair or a table or whatever you want. Uh, this bumper is actually, I mean, it's got very low mileage on the car, but there's not, as, there's barely any scratches on the bottom of the bumper. Usually people's bumpers are destroyed on the bottom. All right, let's do one light. Uh, been a while since I've removed one of these, but I'm guessing it's 10 millimeter as well. Uh, I'm gonna have a look. So I see one 10 millimeter right here on the inside. We're gonna have a look around the bottom. This is, this gray plug right here is the master harness. Let's make sure there's one on each side, it probably is. Yep, so that's the master harness for the light. That's gotta come off. Now guys, this is the most expensive part of the whole car. Don't drop it. You drop it, you're probably gonna be out two or three grand. So not a good deal. Uh, down here, I'm gonna look underneath. I don't see anything on the bottom, though there's, I feel like there should be, but maybe there, there's just one here. There's definitely one under this plastic here. Yeah, right up here, that's two. There's definitely one coming in at the side right here. That's three. And there could just be three. Sometimes there's four. Uh, we'll find out, we'll loosen them up. We'll see what's going on. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to disconnect the harness right now. This way, um, we can just be ready to go when our taillight comes out. I'm gonna store these in my office. Let's pop out the harness. Come on, baby. Slowly wiggle that thing out. It should come out. It's easier to take the harness off right now because uh, it's difficult to do later on with the light being disconnected. There it is, okay? Harness is out. Let's do the other side. Uh, I will show you just kind of how to remove one light because once you remove one, the other one's exactly the same. So just pop this, pop this clip down. There we go. Pop this harness out. Cool, that light's ready to go. Let's grab the 10 millimeter right here. Let's get our socket ready. I'm gonna have, uh, I got an extension. You gonna need one? 
I'll do the top one last. It's the easiest one to reach. When you put these, when you put headlights back in, um, keep in mind they got to you want to line up the holes and the circles of where the screw was, and I'll actually just show you. Right down here, you can actually see here, not the, not the larger ring on the outside, but the, the tighter ring on the inside, exactly how that screw sat on there. This is how you line up your headlight again. You're going to follow those marks. Let's get the side one. I might have to undo the whole, the whole harness here. I'm not sure. I'm not even sure if this is actually holding the headlight in or not. Sort of a questionable part. Maybe? No, it's already quite loose. Okay. I don't know if it's actually holding it on. No, it is threaded in there. Okay, I see it. So let's get that screw all the way out. If I can. Otherwise, just give it a couple of taps. Come on, fall out. It's fine. As long as it's disconnected, we're okay. I'll get it out afterwards. Let's take out the top one. The headlight won't just fall out and keep yourself in front of it anyways. There shouldn't be any more plugs going into this. I believe I removed the only one. Let's put this screw. These screws are different, okay? Very important to recognize that. The coarse thread one goes on the top of the light. The fine thread one goes down here. Again, they won't thread into those areas anyways because they're different threads, but you could end up forcing it, which would be a mistake. We're gonna take this and we're gonna lift the tab at the top right here, where we just undid our last screw. It's sitting on top. Um, so we have to just pop it up slightly. There we go. And now the headlight should gently slide out. If you feel resistance, you're doing it wrong. There's your headlight out of the way. Your two or $3,000 headlight, okay? Be careful. I'm gonna go put this away right now and I'll be right back. And that's it for removing the front bumper. Uh, I showed you where the clips are. I showed you where the screws are. I showed you where the plugs are. Uh, I showed you how to remove the headlight as well. Again, not that hard to remove a headlight. Just keep in mind, it's, it is probably the most expensive part of the car that you're going to dismantle other than like an engine or a transmission or something crazy like that. Um, it probably is one of the most expensive parts of the car by far. Um, a bumper won't even cost as much as the headlight does. Once we have the bumper off right now, uh, we'll be able to strip it down a little bit, you know, remove some pieces, make our wrap a little bit easier, or make it a little bit easier to wrap the front bumper. Uh, also, make our wrap come out a little bit cleaner because we'll we won't uh, we'll be able to tuck in further and uh, not worry about anything showing from the exterior for the most part. Guys, I hope this video was informative and helpful. Again, in showing you the ease and and how to approach removing a bumper. Uh, a lot of them are the same or very similar in how they come off and how they remove. Some just have more bolts, some have more clips, some are different bolts and some are different clips. But generally speaking, it's pretty much the same across the board. Get yourself some kind of a, a soft chair or a stand or a table or whatever, slap your bumper down on it, get it stripped down and then get wrapping it. Guys, again, looking forward to doing more, doing more videos for you. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it very much. Take care.